Okay, hi, and welcome back to Waking, where I was very concerned, and I hope that we've actually recorded the mic. Because I thought Windows 10 update has ruined everything. And, you know, I didn't think to check, and then at the last second I was like, okay, shit. But, hopefully, we're now here. Okay, this could also be a difference. Like, it might not actually open those gates, it might actually teleport us to a different thing every time, in which case I might have accidentally, you know, because I fell off the world and, you know, went around silly places. Did I miss a tree in the first instance? There's a very good chance that I did. So let's hope that I didn't! And, um, you know, we're going to carry on with the waking demo now and um, let's enter the action and see what we've got going on. You know, if I did miss things, I apologise. And hopefully the audio is all good. I will have to check that out later. Hi. Okay, um, I know you're, you're doing things. I know I could also go over there. Okay, there's literally a light there. <laughs> do we walk into the light? Do we carry on there? Or do I actually go visit my friends? Can't hide jump. Oh, fuck. I mean, high jump is what I'm relying on to get back out. I can literally get in there and see you. What are you building on that forge? And say hello, but if I do that, there's absolutely no chance that I'm getting back out. Like, okay, there's a few of you. Okay, there's an invisible wall stopping me from going into the light. In the dark corners of your mind. The Makana are dead. Okay, ooh. ooh. Okay, this is... No, turn around, Bright Eyes. This is a thumbnail opportunity. Like, the demons in your minds toiling away on things... Okay, again, I'm going to try and put my face on the thumbnail for fun. Okay. What are you building? You are just... Okay. You're not letting me go down there. Invisible walls! At least you've opened this path up now. But there are literally invisible walls there. Okay. Might this be a better thumbnail spot, maybe? If I sort of look that way instead, no, look, look that way. There we go. <laughs> that might be a nicer thumbnail spot to to see the machinations of the demons in my mind. The mind demons. Okay, let's go to the lights. Hi. You are the hum of the silent keeper. Silence would be nice at night to be able to sleep and rest. Yes, I agree. Hi, Mr. Owlman. A pleasure to meet you. Okay. <laughs> the camera isn't liking what I'm doing here. The Silence Keeper. What have you built? Ooh, some sort of wing device. Can we fly around at some point, maybe? Hi. I... no. Okay, invisible walls. <laughs> I was gonna say, I guess you don't want me to go to visit the demons, but um, you almost let me get into the walls. It's at least... They, they considered that people would run there. I mean, I guess they're gonna build a lot more invisible walls after... Okay, I mean, you're literally letting me down here anyway. Wait, what, what was that? Nightmare machine, okay. Fear. Model 500. Okay. Let's, um, look this way. There we go. This might be a much nicer spot to, to see what's going on with all the demons. Let's 
they do prevent me sleeping. Okay, why are there some owl lords and there are other... The rest of them are demon lords. Well, not demons, but you know... Deer heads, I guess. Okay, we've got a sleep machine, I guess. Sleepkeeper machine model 300. Yes, you... You aren't operating well enough, sleep machine. The nightmares of being kept up all night cause more problems and, you know, damage my mental health. <laughs> okay, a nightmare machine that that guy's working on. Got a couple of owls watching over the sleep, but, you know, covering the dreams? Or, you know, ensuring that the demons are doing their work? I don't know why you don't want me high jumping in here. I mean, I guess like it's puzzle worlds, so you can't high jump. Okay, so I can't steal. You can say I can steal this. Okay. No, it's literally just to lift this. <laughs> I wanted to steal your stuff. Hi. Can I be a pace? In we go. Right. How to become? Sleep machine. Row, row, row your boat. Always. I have no choice. No, I will not let the demons have their way. Okay, this is the problem. Oh yeah, we need to lock onto you. I I should have stunned you. That was supposed to stun you. Okay, take it. Okay, you've only got 52 HP. Oh, excuse me. I was blocking that with my piece of trash. I will have you know. Okay. I need another piece of trash. This will do. Oh. Music doesn't seem to necessarily fit. Okay, we don't need it perfect. <laughs> It'll do. Nightmare machine is done. It's dust. It's gone. Do you have any more machines? I was going to pick that up. I was going to take that. Wait. What? <laughs> no, I told you to enter the accent. Okay, I guess that was wrong. Because it's now sealed up. You can't be making me go into that. Like, we lost one life for falling into the abyss. Okay, let's go in. Can't go back. Okay. <laughs> I guess it's a metaphor for you can't go back to life. You, you want me to go into this, don't you? You actually... No? You're not letting me into that? Okay. Well, that's locked off! Yeah, you can't even let me jump in there. You gave me double jump back at least. If I... Bug... Enter the act. Wait, there's nowhere else to go. Can't go back. Like, you haven't taken me anywhere. And um, that abyss just hurt. It's not actually an abyss. I've broke the game already, haven't I? It's fine, we've got double jump. Yeah, that darkness does burn. Wait. Okay. Okay, so there is an option to go somewhere. You're a human.
Uh, closing of the eye is definitely appreciated. Somnus, the god of sleep. Hi. I, I welcome you. <laughs> I mean, I would very much appreciate to be allowed to sleep. Peace is what I seek. Desires and struggles. Well. <laughs> Okay, I want to live to go back. I'm at peace ready to die. I mean, of course. I'm not going to choose to die. Embrace the blooming night with them. It's peace where the light of the universe cannot reach in the darkness. Yes, I'm sure there is. And it's silence. It's nothingness. It's something beyond understanding. It's my reincarnation. It's it's nothingness. It's it's peace. It's true peace. It's nothing. <laughs> it's calm and nothingness. Towards the lights. Okay. To the light, my friend. I mean, I bet it reacts to whatever people choose as their vision of afterlife and is like, yes, of course it is. But, you know, it, it's not. It's just peace and escape. Well, I mean... <laughs> Technically, when you die, like, your brain still functions for seven months after and you ha can, if you dream, um, experience a lifetime in a night and, you know, that much activeness in that part of your brain would mean that you'd live out, like, some form of afterlife in a waking, well, a permanently dead dream and, you know, in your last moments of life you'd hold on to whatever that was and the pain and the suffering would influence the dream so you'd want to die in a peaceful and not painful way but um yeah i guess i should have chosen an option to that end but at the same time you know it's sort of nothing does but also is there an explanation for that in those options i should have looked harder i should have looked harder to my beliefs in that aspect. Okay, well, light is life. Like, going into the light is actually going towards clinging on to life and not dying. Again, this is a demo, so there's going to be a lot more to the game besides this. Wait. Someone doesn't want us to go into the lights. With a human voice. Can you hear me? Of course. I'm here for you, friend. There's another way. Back to the life you know. Meet me there. A house. I'll show you the way back home. I mean, it's in a creepy red demonic landscape with a dilapidated house. Did you give me any other option? Okay, so we can't jump into the tunnel. I mean, I guess if we go into the light, we would be making that choice and we would be dying. So you're trying to... Interesting. I mean, you talk to me in state time. The power of insight has been added. What's this one, though? Okay. Neurons are currency. So we've got 34 neurons. 
clues to the secret passage. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of interested to see what would happen if we did go into the light. I mean, did we need to... Oh, it's a menu. To equip it. Um, how? How? Maybe start. Start. Okay, start. Okay, life. Neurons. Hope. Ooh. Special items lose a bit when hits. Fear. Okay, enemy difficulty and penalty. That's interesting. Okay, so we can level up with feelings, knowledge, and beliefs. Okay, but that didn't necessarily so melee slots. Insights, okay. So 30 neurons. Hidden items and doors become accessible. Okay. Ooh, loved ones, fragments, memories. Okay, so pulses. Okay, so Become invisible for 10 seconds is the nothing. Okay, that's interesting, but we can't equip these. Okay, so they just do 6 damage, adventure and fun. You haven't got a control for them though. Relics, power attacks, prayers, quest items. Okay, so we've only got, like, insights. Open the secret passage and escape! <laughs> we dip out! Okay, so that's pretty interesting. Not yet. Progress saved. Okay, perfect. Hello. So no feelings yet. Beliefs. Okay. So feelings, knowledge, and beliefs. You're telling me not yet. <laughs> not yet. That's what you told me to leave. Okay. Pick a belief. Tile. Okay. Block the enemy shots to reflect them. Where are you? Protected by belief. Okay, am I just meant to reflect on my beliefs? Triple neurons. Perfect. Okay. Now use knowledge. I mean, does it matter which tile we're using? These weapons are simple but powerful. Charge and hurl them at your enemies to inflict massive damage. It's knowledge to destroy the enemy. Okay, give me some knowledge. Okay. Oh. Okay. Knowledge is power, and apparently it's very powerful. Easy. Okay, this one seems like the best knowledge. Asleep, but most importantly, feelings is a weapon. He's feeling as a melee weapon with a limited amount of behind the microphone. You can hold up to three feelings at a time. Okay. Feelings, pyramid shape, feelings, melee, ten. Okay. I'm not getting it. Okay, so Euphoria. Okay, B, standard melee weapon. Okay. Melee the enemy, press three, throw a charge barrel at the enemy first. <laughs> Bob, yeah, no, that's what that's a really charged barrel. Bop, 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 bop. Okay. I mean, you've got my reflection there. I can see. Okay, you're not going to let me. Oh, 
I... I killed my belief. Wait. This is the best one, clearly. Pick a feeling and charge. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> See, I need to charge them to absorb them. Okay. You said I can hold up to three, so. Okay, and then I will also take this one. Okay, so now I've got three charged feelings. Pop. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Slowly but surely understanding. Okay, so we can't charge anymore. Okay, so we've got feeling very insights. Fury, sorry. Feeling. But, um, okay. This is now my belief. It's not the belief I wanted. But it's the belief that we've got. <laughs> the dying mind. So we've got insight, we've got fury. So fury is melee, insight is equip the power technique is found. Okay. Spikes wonder fury. Okay. Interesting. Wonder does damage for ten, so wonder is going to be much better. Okay. Insight, we've got adventure fun feeling. The dying minds is on B. Okay, I guess it's a charge one. Okay. Perfect. Okay. I mean, RB is sprint to next notes. What if I don't? I've accidentally made myself crouch. I mean, I'm not going to sprint into the next area without my beliefs. That would be stupid, wouldn't it? I've got to carry my beliefs with me. <laughs> and I will make my own way there. Thank you very much. So then, out of that, even when you are weaponless. I mean, am I weaponless? I have my beliefs with me. In order to damage these enemies, you must pick up and charge objects. They drop. Okay. I'm stunned. Tell enemy out. You're not going to shoot at the eye. Knock down enemy, charge dropped objects. Okay. I'm not going to waste that by destroying it on you. It's, it's my belief. You're giving me pain and disdain. That's not great. <laughs> and grief. Peace. We found peace. <laughs> At the last opportunity, we found peace. Peace was after killing it. Hey, that's my belief. You disarmed me of my beliefs. Sounds legit. Hmm? Okay. Oh, it's st stun then, hello. Hi. Do you want to hit my beliefs? Okay. Okay. Okay, so I'm guessing you're not going to let me throw that. What was that? Is that more peace? Pop. Okay. It's fine. Okay. 
bitterness. We're not quick enough. Doesn't seem like necessarily what I want to hit you with courage. That's ideal. Enjoy. Okay. I wonder if like using bad attacks is something that makes a difference. Like you don't want to hit them with. A bad attack. Okay, I'm feeling that the music is like the same. Wait. That didn't stun you. I guess I didn't charge it hard enough. I accidentally shot my load early. Perfect. I'm gonna let you keep your bitterness and disdain. And I will absorb the good emotions. <laughs> fight you with power rather than pain although it was saying like you could only use like the things that the enemies dropped I did use the the better emotions and I wonder if that makes a difference to like okay invisible walls to what you can do you know like because I saw in this it's like you get where is it? Level ups, and um, so we've got hope and fear. I wonder if it like increases fear and things like that if you use like abilities you're not meant to use. Okay, don't mind me just checking the boundaries for weirdness and you know abilities to escape. Field guides. It's literally a field. Don't take me back to the countryside. I don't want to grow up in emptiness again. In the middle of nowhere where you're not allowed to do anything. There's nothing to do. And build the palace within. A mind palace. Okay. Um, so we're going to build our own palace within this landscape. Not yet. Okay. Good. You can't skip with that. I wonder if we would have done that with the other areas when, you know, I was climbing out of bounds as well, but it has been like, not yet. You haven't done the things you meant to do yet. Like, I mean, loved ones and fragments and memories. Have I accidentally skipped some things? I, I kind of feel like I could have. Okay, this is a melee weapon. Or it's a memory. Remember. What are we remembering? Our life, I would presume. And not steam. <laughs> it's, it's having some loading issues. Here we go. The Angel Gabriel. Who are you? Where are you from? Who loves you? And whom do you love? Strewn amongst the rubble. Deep within the caverns of your mind. Glimmering in the dark are the treasured memories of your life. Can you feel them within you? Yes. In those memories is the strength you need to wake. Listen to my words, and I will guide you to your treasures within. First, close your eyes. Trust me. Don't be afraid. Just close your eyes. What? 
you gonna, oh, you can actually tell me to close my eyes. What are you going to show on the screen though if I don't close my eyes? Is the thing. I had already closed Let my eyes. Let us mine a memory. We'll start somewhere easy. Look back at your life. Perhaps somewhere along the line you had a pet. Yeah. A dog. It was a dog. Or a cat. And a cat. That you loved dearly. Okay. Imagine if you can. The first day you brought that pet home. Mm hmm. Perhaps it was just a puppy or a kitten. Pardon me. Okay. And imagine it growing older. If both of them have Can grown old and it? died. Is it running through the grass on a summer day? No. <laughs> They're all indoor animals, really. Or falling asleep in a pool of sunlight coming through the window? No. Does it greet you at the door? Happy? Excited? Or it just comes into your room and always wants attention, pestering you and happy? And remember. <laughs> The years passing. Yeah, the years all passed. Okay, can we... And perhaps that pet left your life. Yes, I already said they both did. Do you remember the day it passed on? Were you heartbroken when its life left its little body? Not really. And it would run no more. And death and comes to everything. <laughs> no longer. Can you feel the memory? Can you feel its presence within you? Draw upon these feelings. There, you will find the strength to wake. With a cat or a dog. I feel like I've got stronger emotions and feelings. <sighs> Not with us. I mean, you know. I, I draw my strength probably from... Well, I mean, it'd be a male dog and a female cat. And I say cats as in question mark cats. My favourite pets. You, you're making me choose between the dog and the cat. You, you're making me choose between the dog and the cat. And purely because the cat lived longer and later into my life, I gotta pick the cats. You think it was female? Question mark. <laughs> I mean, that's a big fat thing that looks nothing like. That doesn't really look like either. I mean, I guess. I mean, that still doesn't really look like the cats. It's just gonna have to be that. Like, it's just gonna be my spirit, guys. I should have picked the dog. I should have picked the dog. <laughs> but would you have had the Alsatian? I didn't get to name it. Also, you let me go up and down now with the D-pads. You wouldn't before. <laughs> and you'd have loved the name of the dog. 
He really would have. You're bringing it back to life, aren't you? That's my power! I guess that's why you were saying... Like, concentrate on this and, you know, it will help you awake. Because it's going to be our spirit guide in the game, isn't it? Okay. Clever. Clever. Okay. Where are you, cats? And do we have a save point? Like... Hi, cat. Running through the fields. Of course. Of course it's going to be running through the fields. And that sounds nothing like it. <laughs> Tiger joins. Tigger. <laughs> or Tiggy. <laughs> I guess Tiggy is more the name that we really called this. Even though it was literally called Tiger. Because like... I've got terrible parents. He had stripes, grey stripes. <laughs> it's not really correct. Okay, and you're in the action with me. In we go. <laughs> okay, let's get out. Hi, um, my cat. My cat has gone. Can't find secret passages in here. Hi, cat. <laughs> Attack these boxes for me. Can, can you attack the box for me? Because I can't melee. Okay, I guess that's why you've got this. A feeling! Oh, joy. Not satisfaction? Okay. That was easy. There was literally... Okay, I mean, there's neurons and things in these, so I'm gonna actually... Charge is added fun. Okay. You've given me charges of fun. On why? Fear. Minus 10. Okay, that's perfect. Less fear. <laughs> It's a good job I came and destroyed all these extra things, isn't it? And didn't just go on with the key. Because now we're getting... More fun. More beliefs. Perfect. We also got some neurons and things. Okay. I'll take my belief with me. Okay, the door is open. There's nothing else in here for us. My beliefs. The book, it destroyed my beliefs. <laughs> I should have carried them with me. Okay, why do I now have to use neurons to summon you? <laughs> like you were free before and you were actually following me. Yeah, no. You're making me waste my neurons of fun. You made me waste my fun. Well, you're owning their asses, cat. Definitely own their asses. Okay, wow. Well. Okay, we 
Don't get perfect on that one because it hit me. Shit. Why? Bad memory. Okay. Am I not allowed to hit it without bad emotions? Okay. That's a belief. Perfect. I needed disdain and suffering to kill the bad memory. Oh, hi. You're not a big fan of me escaping death, are you? Yes, we must. Peace in death, you say. I have little choice but to cling to the words. I mean, in the end, you're right. Like, does anything you do in life matter in death? But at the same time, life is to experience and to live, right? Did you just give me a hat? Oh, you've turned female. What did you do to my belief? Punch him, cat! Did you just vaporize my cat? Pop. You're not stunned. Nothing is stunning you. I'm still not stunning you. Okay. At least you didn't add fear when you hit me. I can see that that's a thing that might be happening. I mean, I guess we'll just hit you with um, long-range attacks because you're not actually going to allow me to hit you, are you? Because it's like, don't melee unless they're stunned. You're not getting stunned at all. Like, there's a chance I might be able to run in and hit you, but it looks unlikely. Also, this music is very Silent Hill, but in, like, Light world, Silent Hill, not Dark Worlds that we maybe should be experiencing question mark in a sort of thing like this. You've vaporized my cat. <laughs> That's not gonna help matters. Okay, I see you're popping all of the clutter around you. So that I have little in terms of weapons to throw at you. Like, every time I get near, one goes! Pop. Oh. You vanished. Are you not going to let me actually finish you? Oh no, there you are. I don't need my pets. My pets did not need to help. Ascend! Okay, there might have been secrets in there. There might have been a secret exit. I presume there'd probably be a secret exit. This is probably going to be the end of the demo, I would imagine. We're ascending. But to what ends? To what awaits us on the other side? The palace. Okay, literally... I was going to say the first area, but no, there's like a lot of dots. And it went up a lot of them. So I guess, I don't know, are we climbing up a massive tower of things? Two, four, six, seven. To the seven circles of hell. The Mind Palace. Could this be more than the demo, even though it says demo? I mean, I, I kind of feel like that would have been an ending point for the demo. The palace. Okay. I mean, we are in a new area. 
But with that, we're going to call it an episode, so join us again for more. Bye! Stop recording.